What up guys, how we feeling? I'm headed to the gym. Figured I'd take the motorcycle there for a nice little cruise. I am driving this thing everywhere. When I first got this thing, I told my mom, I was like, I'm only gonna drive it a little bit anyway. I'm only gonna use it for cruises, not my daily transportation. But it's too fun not to. I had a pretty close incident yesterday where I was pulling up to an intersection and a guy was taking a left turn and I was kind of hidden behind the car in front of me who was turning to the right. I'll post a clip of it right now. And yeah, the GoPro makes it look a little bit farther than it actually was, but man, that was probably the closest moment I've had yet. Thank God he stopped. I gotta pay more attention to if the cars can see me, because I could see him, but when you watch back in the video, you can see most likely he probably couldn't see me through the car that was in front of me and turning to the right, because they went off to the right to turn right, instead of uh, staying in the middle, which makes sense for what they were trying to accomplish, but it made it so my positioning was now hidden from that guy and that's what we were talking about before where you really want to make sure that the position within the three lanes on your single lane is optimal there might be situations where you can never be perfect there's always going to be some fallback like if you're on a road with a lot of cars parked on the right side you might not be able to go to the right side to be more visible because somebody might pop out of their car or you might choose to do the opposite you got to weigh your risks So, now that I've spent more time driving in like regular traffic during rush hour and stuff when most regular people are out driving to work, coming home from work, I realize how dangerous this can all really be. Obviously, you know the dangers when you get on a bike. We've all seen the video, seen the reports. But once you get those first couple of incidents, it really elevates the heart rate, that's for sure. It's different than in a car. In a car, you feel like you got away with one. On a bike, you feel like you got away with your life. Yeah, I've been really enjoying all this. As long as the traffic's not stop and go, it's still more fun to be on a bike than it is in a regular car. But as soon as you get into stop and go traffic, it is really annoying. Especially if there's any hills. Me launching uphill is still a little, a little weird. I always have to over rev it. But this thing just doesn't have that much pull in first gear. When you're letting off the clutch, it creeps forward a little bit. But the bikes we were using at the motorcycle safety course crept up immediately. You let off the clutch and that thing would just start going by itself. You barely even had to give it any throttle input. Which was probably set up like that to make it easiest. But man, I am happy I am not riding a little Rebel 300. I hated that thing. Every time I turned during the motorcycle course, the bars would hit my knee, like in the slow maneuvers. So I had to pull my knee out and then the instructor would yell at me to pull my knee in. So I had to pull up on him and be like, look, the handlebars, they're not for me. And then he was like, all right, fine. He yelled at me a few times about it though. I was like, dude, come on. Can't you see what's happening? Like, hug the tank, hug the tank. The tank is too small. And there's balls in the way. And I've learned a new fear. Farm equipment on the road. There's like a few farms around my house. And every, every now and then there'll be some like farm equipment. With some crazy spikes. Just coming out of it. It's like if anything goes wrong near that thing, it is over for me. I was behind somebody yesterday, there was like a cone bobbling around in their truck bed. And that was scary and I am behind somebody with... I guess that's not a huge issue but probably make the ground a little bit slip here. I don't think it's enough 
to make a difference. So yeah, I had an idea to do like a food video where we go and get food and then like, you know, have a little review of it afterwards. I think I need to get new cameras for that. We could possibly set up the GoPro, but I'd want to get like wireless mics. Cause I don't want to have to pull them or, or just get a different mic with a super long cable, like a lapel mic. The problem with that is I don't want to have to like set up a whole thing every time I go and do it. So I'm thinking about just getting the Rode wireless mics and getting a wireless lapel mic just for the, the eating show, which is really just me riding to a restaurant and then eating it, giving my uneducated food review, which is the best type of food review, and then riding home. Keep it simple. Alright guys, I'm ahead to the gym. Peace.